All right, my friends, let's solve a big problem for you today. I want you to watch this, listen to this, take notes, and bring it back to the office tonight, tomorrow, today, whatever. All right. I need you to stop scheduling new patients. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to start putting people on the schedule who are prepared to arrive, pay, and stay. You will rarely ever hear me use the word scheduling when it comes to new patients without then going so that they will arrive, pay, and stay. This has been, in my journey of doing this, this is the one of the biggest, I should probably do like the three biggest mistakes. I'll probably do that in a few weeks. The three biggest, two biggest mistakes at your front desk. It's probably in the top two, fuck three. It's in the top two. When you hire a front desk person and you tell them, yeah, I want you to answer calls and get new patients scheduled, they do a damn good job at getting people scheduled. And they do. And they're doing what you told them to do. I need you, the owner, the office manager, or if you're an actual front desk person who takes new patient calls listening to this, God bless you. I love what you do. I want you to start thinking about how do I put people onto the schedule who are prepared to arrive and pay for that first visit. I always say dot, 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 stay, because when we're talking about pre-arrival in the first phone call, we're, we're setting people up for stay. But our goal, our objective is to get people to arrive and pay for that first visit so that they will agree to their plan of care and then stay. And you, the person answering the phone, the person answering the phone sets that all up. If they're thinking about, I need to put people on the schedule who arrive, pay, and stay. A getting schedule mentality leads to cancels, reschedules, no-shows of the first visit. A getting people scheduled mentality is getting people on and off the phone very quickly with doing nothing but getting the data required by the business to put them into a system so that they can char start charging their insurance. Yes, you heard that correctly. And that's why I paused for effect. So if you will start thinking, arrive, pay and stay, then you will be more successful. I'll tell you what, in two ways. You will have people on the schedule ready to arrive and pay and then stay, but you will also keep people off of the schedule who weren't really wanting to arrive and pay. And I do secret callers across this whole country. I've done secret callers to other countries too, just for the record, but I've done secret callers all across the U S and I always tell people here, here, here's the, here's the take home from this. And I'll finish with this. Here's the way you will know if you're putting people. So this is what you're going to take away. You're going to tell your front desk that I want you to start thinking about putting people on the schedule to arrive, pay, and stay. And they're going to say, how do I do that? Or you're going to say, how do I know they've done that? Go sit next to your front desk person. And after the next new patient call, when they hang up, ask them one question and one question only. Why will that person arrive? What did we do here at ABC Physio to put that person into the right mindset that they should arrive for that appointment you just scheduled. Go do that today. Cheers all.